Typically, you would want to show some information on the page about the thermal image. This can be accomplished using tables and fields. If you click Table from the FLIR tab, you can see a list of predefined tables that can be added to the page. If you click Measurements, for example, it will instantly place a table on the page that shows all measurement data in the image. A camera info table will show only camera details, like camera model and serial number. In most cases, you would want to have a combination of these different types of data in a single table. To create a custom table, click on Table at the very top of the Table menu. From the Insert Table window, click the Create button. The Add Edit Table window is where you can begin to design your custom table. The first step is to give the table a new name. Custom tables are always saved so they can easily be reused in other templates and reports. They can also be exported for use on a different PC. The information is divided up into a variety of groups or categories. Each group contains several fields. If you find a field that you would like to add to the table, simply double click on it or click the Add button to add it to the table preview area at the bottom. To delete an item, click on it once in the table preview area. Click the Remove Field button, which is the trash icon, or click the Remove button to delete it from the table preview. For this example, I'm going to add a combination of camera, object parameter, and temperature fields to my custom table. These arrows can be used to change the order of the items in the table. Once you are satisfied with the selected fields, click OK to return to the previous window. All custom tables will appear in the custom area on the Insert Table window. Click Edit if you wish to make any changes to the selected table. Click OK to place the selected table on the page. Here is what the table should look like on the page. It will always have two columns, one for the label and one for the value that is populated once an image is inserted into the placeholder. A benefit of being in Word is that the FLIR tables behave much like any standard Word table. All of Word's formatting options are available to you, so you can apply borders and shading to the tables once they are placed on the page. You can click the four-way arrow to select the entire table. From the Table Tools tab, click Design to see the options. Click on any of the table styles to quickly apply a predefined format. Or you can manually select desired borders and shading. The table content cannot be changed after the table has been placed on the page. Instead, you can delete the table and then insert a new, modified version. First, select the entire table, then right-click and select Delete Table. Now click Table from the FLIR tab, and then click on your custom table.
Click Edit to make changes. Add or remove content as needed, and then click OK to save changes. Click OK once more to place the new table on the page. Fields can be used to show a single image parameter or temperature value on the page without using a table. The fields will always insert where the mouse cursor is blinking on the page. So the first step is to click once where you want to show the value. Now click the field button from the FLIR tab. The information on the insert field window is divided up into several groups or categories containing fields. If you find the field that you would like to add to the page, simply double click on it or click OK. In this example, I will double click on file name to place it on the page. To delete a field, either click and drag across it to select it, or move the mouse to the left until an arrow icon appears, and then click to select. Once selected, right-click on the highlighted field and click Cut to remove it from the page. 